Canadians got their first look at Zenzab Melik today, the man facing allegations of planning bombing attacks in Toronto. The government ultimately plans to try to deport the permanent resident without charging him. CTV Scott Laurie reports. <laughs> The first glimpse of Jahanseb Malik, who faces serious allegations of a bomb plot. During his video link to an Immigration and Refugee Board, his only words... Jahanseb Malik, is that your true and correct name, sir? Yeah, that's correct. He shook his head at the allegations and listened. The minister continues to gather and examine evidence related to Mr. Malik's inadmissibility. The Canada Border Services Agency reiterated why it believes Malik should remain in custody. There is no reason to believe that future detention would be lengthy. And in the circumstances, the minister submits that Mr. Malik's continued detention is warranted. Malik's legal representative? Uh, no submissions from us. <laughs> nothing at all? No. Said nothing. Malik is alleged to have plotted to bomb Toronto's financial district and the U.S. consulates. It's alleged he sympathizes with ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and claims to have been friends with Anwar al-Awlaki, the U.S.-born cleric who led al-Qaeda in Yemen, killed by an American drone strike in 2011. During a seven-month investigation, Malik befriended someone who is actually an undercover RCMP agent, who police say he tried to radicalize. Thanks to the excellent working relationship and partnership we have with our U.S. Uh, partners, such as FBI, uh, DRCMP, and our Canadian Border Security Agency, we were able to prevent that individual uh, from uh, allegedly commi committing a terrorist attack. Malik's status could be why the government is seeking to deport rather than charge him. At the end of the hearing... ...that you do on a balance of probabilities, pose a flight risk, a danger to the public, and that you should be detained for uh, security reasons. While... Malik and his lawyers have eight days to spell out to the Immigration and Refugee Board why he should be released on compassionate or humanitarian grounds. If they don't meet that deadline, his next hearing, April the 14th, when the government could begin the process to try to deport him. Scott Laurie, CTV News, Toronto.